Day 25 on the Road of 50 States, we have arrived here in Phoenix, Arizona to interview Joan Kerber Walker, I think we might be related, about the future of healthcare and what's the next big thing in pharma. Joan is in charge of the Arizona Bioindustry Association, AZ Bio, and is right at the forefront of trying to advance science through the association members here in Arizona. Thanks very much for coming along, Joan. Looking forward to talking about the future of healthcare. It's great to be here with you, Nigel, and thank you so much for coming to Arizona, especially during Arizona Bioscience Week. We're asking the same question to 130 leaders of industry. What is the next big thing in pharma? I think the next big thing in pharma is that we pay more attention to the voices of patients. What we do is changing lives, but so often we tell the patients what we're going to do for them rather than ask the patients what they need. And I think what we will see is just as science is giving us more insight in how the patient is unique, listening to the patient's voices as an industry will make us better innovators and better partners. We're on the final day of Arizona Bioscience Week, I believe the sixth year that you've run the event. Thank you very much for us, asking us to join the event. How has the event gone? Uh, what have you learned? And what are you planning for next year? So as we look at Arizona and everything that's happening here, we try to have one day of, across the week that would highlight all of the different things that are great. Arizona has some of the strongest leading women in the country. And so we started off with leading women, Bioscience Beyond. We moved on to a partnership with the University of Arizona and had um, Discovering New Medicines in Arizona, a full day conference, followed by um, the premiere of Celebrating Life in Science. So since we couldn't have a thousand people at the convention center, that just wouldn't be safe. We partnered with ABC and produced a one hour television special that got viewed by tens of thousands of people. That's pretty cool. And then as we continued throughout the week, we had the AZ Advances Innovation Showcase, where we highlighted 12 very early stage life science companies to see what they are innovating on. And then we wrapped up the weekdays with Voice of the Patient, where we brought together patients to tell us their stories and what's important to them. And then of course, we, the climax, we have That's Nice here with us and the Pharma Roadshow. So we are thrilled that you're here and that you joined us to help celebrate everything that's amazing about Arizona's bioscience sector. Arizona has seen some rapid growth more recently in the biomedical technology space. Um, why do you perceive this is a more recent growth and do you see that to be continuous over the next few years? So Arizona has invested over the last 20 years, $23 billion to build up the life science infrastructure that you're sitting in right now. And so as we continue to grow, there have been specific catalysts. Jeffrey Trent left the Human Genome Project and came to Arizona to create TGEN. The Biodesign Institute was created when the state legislature gave the universities $500 million and then followed it up in 2017 with another billion. So the investment is there, the talent has been working, the ideas are percolating up. And so now what you're seeing in Arizona is this wealth of opportunities and we're just getting started. So AZ Bio's vision for Arizona is that we won't be a top five emerging bioscience sector. We will be a top 10 bioscience state. And that's what we're working towards. Thank you so much for joining us here in Phoenix, Arizona for Arizona Bioscience Week. And good luck on the road to 50 states. Mm -hmm.